this is the next part of the uh, classic Mini A-Series engine rebuild. Um, I've got the block back off the engineering shop. Uh, I've just uh, yeah checked the piston clearance to the deck. Um, there's a tiny bit of protrusion, but that's fine. Um, the head gasket will take up that. What happened to this engine was the head gasket between the middle two cylinders failed which cracked the block across here and it's also cracked the head so at the moment I'm trying to trying to modify another head port it and all that ready because I spent a very long time doing the other one but um, yeah so if you can see the repair job it's quite impressive actually I don't know if you can see uh, you can see in the middle there's a tiny, tiny little bit of the original metal left, but the repair that's been done is very impressive, actually. He bored out the middle two cylinders, pressed in sleeves, and then decked it, and now you can barely tell that anything had actually happened to it. Um, so it should be, yeah, it should be absolutely fine once it's built. Anyway, I don't have any piston rings yet. This this is only in so that I could check the uh, check the height of the piston, so that's fine. But what I can do is put the camshaft in. I will start doing that. No, first thing to do is put the oil pump in, then the camshaft. So now that's done, I'm going to install the camshaft. I'm going to have to I had to buy new cam followers because I knew I was making a mistake at the time. I rather foolishly didn't number the cam followers that came out according to where they go and they wear into the camshaft so if you, you can't chop and change you've got to buy new ones if you mix them up. So I'll uh, stop doing that. Cam followers. It's important when you're putting all this stuff together to make sure you use plenty of assembly lube, otherwise it'll uh, it'll be metal on metal contact when you first start the engine. No one wants that. I swear I should have put the cam in before I put the crank in, but So that's the cam follow, is it? Um, next step is the camshaft. This particular camshaft is, well, it's very high performance for one of these engines. Um, it's, uh, well, the highest you could probably get away with using on the road. Um, as a result, the car idles. Yeah, it's very lumpy. It barely idles, but it sounds amazing. So yeah, I'll clean this up. Put that in now. Okay, so that's the camshaft in. It's not held in place or anything, but I can now show you exactly how a, how this particular valve train works. Um, so inside here, 
the crank turns the camshaft and because this is an old engine design um, it uses push rods um, which are they're they're basic but it makes it hard to change the hard to change the camshaft and also they can't rev as high because it's got to move so much weight and unless you have very uh, hard valve springs which I do in this engine but uh, so as the camshaft turns the lobes push the cam followers up and then you've got push rods which go into all of these holes at the top which you can't see but um, you can see that this is a chainsaw file, not a push rod. But this is what actuates the valves. So uh, this pushes on a little lever at the top of the engine. So as it goes up, it pushes the valve open. And then as it drops, it shuts again. Same as a normal. Anyway, thought you might be interested. You might not be. Uh, after an epic quest to go and find some Teflon tape, um, yeah. Uh, finally got some. Um, the, uh, the reason being I wanted to put the timing back plate on but it covers up these oil gallery holes which I, well originally they should just be uh, core plugs like you bang them in with a hammer um, and I thought that was a bit rubbish last time I took this engine apart so I tapped them out to accept these uh, nice bumps so that you can, you can rinse through the oil galleries when you take your engine apart was kind of hoping it would be 20 years before that happened, but it wasn't. So uh, yeah, I can get on with uh, putting those together. It's only taken three hours to get this far. So that's about all I can do for now, either until I go and get my degree wheel so that I can bolt it onto the crank and uh, set up the cam timing, or when the piston rings come, because, well, once the piston rings come, I guess I can bolt the gearbox on, i.e. the sump, and stick the drop gears on. Yeah, it all, all depends on the piston rings, so I'll carry on whenever they arrive. <laughs> 